Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hounds and for this video I thought I'd go through my top 10 favourite Vinegar Syndrome slip covers. I've been on a bit of a Vinegar Syndrome kick recently since ordering from their sale and they are widely regarded as the best company out there for their slip covers. They do some really nice ones so I just thought I'd go through my personal top 10 favorite ones that they do so this is not a uh, comment on the quality of film in this countdown although there are some great movies here uh, but just what i personally think are the top 10 favorite slip covers that i own so the first one is pale blood and i really like this white slipcase it's a very sort of elegant looking horror movie uh, there's a little bit of embossing on this uh, the writing is embossed uh, the bite marks and also the lady's lips if you can see uh, are embossed as well really nice wrap around sleeve <coughs> and that's the image on the other side it's just a continuation of the front so a number 10 is pale blood at number nine, we've got Bloodsuckers from Outer Space, a film that I really enjoy. And I really like the colour scheme on this. I really like the, the greens and the pinks uh, and, and that kind of thing. It doesn't, uh, not colours that you tend to see on in horror movie artwork, um, but it looks really good. And there is quite a bit of embossing in the character's eyes and things like that. I don't know if you can make that out. But again, that wraps around on the spine, and then we get some more crazy looking alien people on the back. So yeah, just really, really striking artwork on, on, on this one. Um, really, really cool looking case. Uh, number eight is Blood Games. I don't know what it is that um, appeals to me about this one. I just really like the... Again, the colouring, so the dark shades of this one. I really like the drawn, the drawn cover. Um, I always find them quite enticing. There's some nice embossing on the uh, Blood Games title. And then uh, this one doesn't wrap around. It's just a plain spine. And then we get an equally cool image on the back there. I actually watched this movie last night and really enjoyed it. So that's awesome. So, 10, 9, 8. Number 7 is Beyond Evil. I really like this cover. The main thing I like about this is the uh, the laser beams coming out of this woman's eyes, which are embossed. You can kind of see that as I move it round. Again, some nice colouring on this one. Um, wrap around sleeve. And then we get this uh, on the back with the continuation of the laser beams. I actually really enjoyed this film. I, I don't hear many good things about Beyond Evil at all. I think people think it's uh, quite a slow one, which it kind of is. But I, I just really enjoyed that one. But really nice slip cover. Um, number six, we have uh, Blood Harvest. Uh, this one's always kind of... Uh, jumped out at me in terms of cover art this sort of garish face uh staring back at you and there's some nice embossing on some of the facial features this is one of those covers i think if i'd have seen this as a kid in the video shop it would have scared the crap out of me this guy staring back at you um really really effective creepy cover art uh continues on the side and then you have the same thing on the back but upside down which is equally creepy so yeah look at that really freaky at number five we have bloody new year which is just really really well done artwork i think this really nice uh drawn image uh you've got i think a bit of embossing there on the title but a really nice hand-drawn picture of this woman here we've got the skull which uh the skull carries on around the, the slip and then onto the other side as well where you've got more uh, drawn artwork on the back really really nice finish to this one um, 
really lovely release. That one's always appealed to me a lot. So that's that one. And number four, we've got Splatter University. I remember seeing this one when they bought it out and just thought it looked amazing. Um, this kind of whole image is sort of glossed. It's like glossed over, but really nice. I love the skull in the corner and the blood there and the knife. Just a lot going on in this cover, which I really like. Uh, that one continues on round. And then you've just got a bit of an image here, which again you can see there is glossed. So really nice finish to that one. Number three, uh, one that I uh, recently got in the sale and really like this slip cover, and that's the Psychic Killer. So this sort of for this uh, flame artwork going on here, some of the characters amongst the flames, a lot of that is sort of glossed and embossed, if you can see. And then that's another wrap around one. And then you've got just that there on the back again, that's all glossed. And I think the writing's slightly embossed as well. So really nice, really nice one again. Number two is another one that I picked up in the sale and the artwork on this one is just amazing. I really love this one and that's Olivia. I mean, look at that, this sort of crazy looking chick here about to do away with this guy here creepy woman there in the moon bit of embossing on the title just a really really nice design really nice finish on this one this one wraps around and then on the other side you've got uh, who I'm assuming is Olivia not watched the movie yet and just to try and show you these sunglasses are embossed you can kind of see it there, but yeah, really nice, really nice one, lovely finish on that. And my number one favourite piece of uh, artwork, favourite slip cover, I should say, from Vinegar Syndrome, is Demon Wind, with a holographic cover. So I picked this up at a Huracan, I saw it when I was there, saw it towards the end of the day, uh, pretty much spent up, but... This, this artwork really stood out to me. Couldn't leave it lying there. So picked it up and glad that I did because I think this is long out of print now. Uh, this isn't doesn't wrap around, just a plain spine. And then we've actually got a full hypnosis on the back, which you don't see a lot on, on Vinegar Syndrome slip covers. But yeah, this is my, my favorite one. I've always loved this, this artwork and this slip cover. So that is my 10 favourite Vinegar Syndrome slip covers. So thank you for watching that, guys. I tried to show them off as best as I could. So let me know if you agree with that. If not, let me know what your favourite Vinegar Syndrome slip covers are. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.